All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Regeneration TV. And we're at Super Seventh. If you didn't see our other films, let's go. Let's walk. Walk and talk. As you know, we're over here at Super Seventh with all these other churches that come together to do one thing, and that's to worship God. And you're here with us as well. Now, my other video is going to be on the whole event and how it went, the worship, who's been preaching, who's been talking, the lessons, all the good stuff, maybe some interviews here and there. But this one is the trivia time. We want to find out what people know, how much they know, and who knows the most. So we're going to go ahead and walk around, ask people what, or ask people the the questions and see if they know come over here and follow me what city was jesus born bethlehem bethlehem is right what city was jesus born bethlehem bethlehem all right answer is correct how many books are in the new testament 36 36 are you sure Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was a good one. You got that wrong. Right. <laughs> There's 27 books. 27. How many books are in the New Testament? 27. I'm going to go with 27 as well. 27 is correct. I'm gonna... <laughs> what type of What type of insect did John Baptist eat in the desert? Locust. Locust is Correct. <laughs> what type of insect did John the Baptist eat in the desert? Locust. Locust. Locust? Locust. Locust is uh, correct. Huh? Who were the first apostles called to Jesus, uh, called to follow Jesus? The first two apostles first get called to follow Jesus. The first two. two. First two. Uh, Paul and Peter. Oh, close! It was Peter and Andrew. Who was the, who were the first apostles called to follow Jesus? Peter and Andrew. I'd say Sam and Joseph. That's what I'm coming up with. <laughs> so Sam and Joseph is wrong. <laughs> Peter and Andrew is correct. How many people did Jesus feed with the five loaves of bread and two fish? 5,000 men plus uh, doesn't name women or children. Well, I'll give it to you, but it says about 5,000 men. How many people did Jesus feed with the five loaves of bread and two fish? 5,000. I'm going to agree with them. 5,000 uh, 5, is correct. Javier, you got one wrong. I thought you were the scholar here. <laughs> so there's no hope for anybody else. Well, let's go get somebody else. After Jesus was arrested, which apostle disowned him three times? Andrew. No, you gotta raise your hand. No, oh, no, no, Andrew. no, no. You get them both answered. Yeah. Andrew. And Andrew. Peter. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Peter is correct. No, after Jesus was arrested, which apostle disowned him three times? Peter. 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 So. <laughs> Which one is it? Pedro. Peter. Peter it is. Yes, that's correct. After Jesus was arrested, which apostle disowned him three times? That was Peter. Peter is correct. All right. After Jesus was arrested, which apostle disowned him three times? Um, now, I didn't tell you this, but you have about five seconds in my head to make an answer and I'll let you know. Abraham? Final answer? Abraham. Abraham. That is wrong. Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah when he was presented at the temple as a baby? I skipped. So you don't know the answer? I don't know the answer. Nah. Okay. She don't either. So... No, no, era una mujer que se no, 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 no
Nah, skip it, skip it, bro. She don't know it. Oh. Pass? She, she passed, she passed. Uh, yeah, yeah, she does. I guess. All right. <laughs> Simeon. Simeon. Oh, okay. Simeon is the correct answer. Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah when he was presented at the temple as a baby? Time is running out, girl. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. It was, I think it was one of those three guys. I could be wrong. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know. All right, Simeon. Simeon recognized Jesus as the Messiah as a baby when he was pre presented at the temple. Who recognized Jesus as a Messiah when he was, present, uh, was presented at the temple as a baby? Well, guess what? Like, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? You have 10 seconds to answer. 10? Nah. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. You Googled it. We saw you. Open it. <laughs> we'll give it to them. Okay, Simeon. All right, Simeon is correct. All right. Cheaters. Next one, next one. All right, next one. Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah when he was presented at the temple as a baby? Uh, I'm not sure. Final answer? I'm not sure. Simeon is the answer. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' body after the crucifixion? Jose. Jose de Arimatea. What she said, <laughs> Jose. Joseph of Arimathea. So you both got him right. You both got him right. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' body after the crucifixion? Uh, All right, time's running out. Time's running out. Apostle, I think it was. Two, one. What is it? It's Joseph of Arimathea. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' body after crucifixion? Oh, uh, that's Judas Iscariot. Wrong. It's Joseph of Arimathea. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You didn't give us any hints. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' body after the crucifixion? Ooh, that was super close, but no, it's Joseph. Paul was shipwrecked on what island? Um, ooh, that, no, that's that, of the no. Yeah. Um, what did she say? What did you say? Paul was shipwrecked. Paul was shipwrecked on what island? No, I don't know that. Malta. Malta. <laughs> Paul was shipwrecked on what island? Five. Two, yeah. Here, another five seconds. Five. That's your four. Short. Three, two, what island? I don't one. Know island. Hey, answer. The island where he put the four thousand. I don't know. Malta. Paul was shipwrecked on what island? Malta. Malta is correct. And then Paul was shipwrecked on what island? Um. Starts with the M. I don't have one. Malta. Who is the author of the book of Revelations? Um, um, John. One. The one that was in the, in the, in the island. Yes, the... John is correct. Yeah, what is the shortest book in the New Testament? Shortest book in the New Testament. No, it's not. What was that? What's that? Judas? Wait, who was who was that? Wait. Jude? Jude? I wanna see John. Oh uh, and five. Four. I think John. One. Okay. John, I think. John and we have Jude. 
And that's partially correct, but not quite. Second John. And what is the shortest book in the New Testament? Jude. Is wrong. It's oh, no, Second John. Passed. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Uh, we read the Bible a little bit more and keep Those it going, okay? Those are hard? Yeah, that's what they all say. We're going to the next round. And then last question. What is the shortest book in the New Testament? The shortest um, in the New Testament? Yes, the New Testament. It's right after the old one. Sure. Second John, who is the author of the book of Revelations? Is it John the Apostle? I believe that is right. <laughs> All right. Who's the author of the book of Revelations? John. John, that is correct. Matthew was a blank. He's a tax collector. Yeah. Final answer? Yes. Are you sure? Ah, you know what they say that and that was right. Matthew was born, uh, Matthew was a blank. Tax collector. Tax collector, that's correct. To what city was Saul traveling when he encountered a great and blinding light? Damascus. Damascus. Ooh, we didn't use a lifeline for that, so. No, we sent him all three of them. All right, so this is the final, oh no, this is the, right. that's correct, okay. Hey. Damascus. Hey. To what city was Saul traveling when he was encountered when he was encountered a great and blinding light. Tarsus. Uh, Damascus. Oh, no. <laughs> Perfect, you got that one wrong. Oh. Who was the first person to come upon the injured man in the parable of the Good Samaritan? Who stumbled upon the who? Five. Five. The, the priest. One one of the high, the... One of the high priests. Final answer? Hey, if that's one of the right answers. Final answer? Yeah. They said the priest. Well, guess what, guys? That's right. <laughs> I knew that. I actually... Who was the first person to come upon the injured man in the parable of a good Samaritan? The priest. The priest. That's correct. Finish the verse. In every battle, you will need faith as your blank to stop the fairy arrow. To stop the fairy arrows aimed at you by Satan. Shield. Shield. Well, guys, that's the second person that got all five right. Thank you so much, ladies. Finish the verse. In every battle, you will need faith as your blank to stop the fairy arrows aiming at you by shield. That would have been five out of five if you just took your time and answered Damascus right. So next time, read your Bible a little bit more. Whose example does Paul say Christians should follow in chapter five of Ephesians? Sure. Are you sure? Yeah. It's Christ. Whose example does Paul say Christians should follow in chapter 5 of Ephesians? Peter. Oh, super close, but that's wrong. It's Christ. After Jesus fed 500, I mean 5,000 people or more with two fish and five loaves of bread, how many baskets were left over? Oh, that was super close, but it was correct. After Jesus fed 5,000 plus people with two fish and five loaves of bread, how many baskets were left over? Many. Many is wrong. It's actually 12. So it's, <laughs> you can count them. What does Paul say may abound more and more in knowledge and in all judgment? Love. What does Paul say may abound more and more in knowledge and in all judgment? Wisdom. Wisdom is wrong. Love <laughs> is the number one answer. What tribe is Paul from? Which one? Judah's tribe? Benjamin's. And what tribe is Paul from? Israelites. Oh, yes, but ben uh, Benjamin's tribe. He's from Benjamin's tribe. According to the Beatitudes, who will be filled? Who will be filled? According to the Beatitudes. I'm not sure. Those who hunger and thirst for the righteous. According to the Beatitudes, who will be filled? Jesus. 
No, according the, to the Beatitudes, uh, the, those who are hungry and thirsty for the righteous will be filled. How does Judah signal Jesus' identity to the Romans official? Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. That's correct. Who murdered John the Baptist? King uh, Herod? Horan, yes. When Christians observe Palm Sunday, what biblical narrative are they celebrating? Passover? No. Awesome. I mean, I'm sorry, that was Palm that, uh, Sunday. Palm, Palm Sunday, I'm sorry. What biblical narrative are they celebrating? Jesus' entry into Jerusalem before his death. According to the gospel, what is the unique liter literary genre? Jesus employs to preach his message. How does Jesus preach to the people? That's what's asking. How did Jesus how did show Jesus, them love? How did he preach to the people? So every time he went up, By parables. <laughs> parables. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Parables. And last but not least, which gospel is most concerned with the mystery and identity of the person of Jesus? Uh, Lucas. Oh, wrong. John. All right. You got it here. You have Javier. You have Meta's group. You have Daniel. And you have Carla that achieved the, the little uh, trivia questions. Now, we do this just to keep everybody on their toes. Keep them off guard a little bit. Because you always have to read your Bible. Always have to be full of knowledge. Because... What's the point of just being Christian if you're just Christian by just going to church? But he asked us to get into the Bible, get knowledge, learn more knowledge so that you can share that knowledge and spread the gospel. Other than that, thank you so much, guys. It's going to be a lovely Saturday. If you haven't seen the other video, go check it out. It's where you get to see bits and clips of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And other than that, don't forget that we started our raffle this week. We start our raffle this week, and it's an iPad and some Apple AirPods. So if you want tickets, please contact me. We'll be selling all for a month, and the more we sell, the more bigger the prizes are next time. Other than that, we love you. Don't forget to die from your old self, to live your new life, and be regenerated. Peace out. Love you guys. I'm out.